Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I wanted to share my outfit of the day with you guys. It's the first one for 2014 and this is a pencil skirt. It's a leather pencil skirt, so I hope you enjoy it. This I am so excited about because at the beginning of every season, I make a shopping list of things that I would like to incorporate or pick up throughout, throughout the season to work into my wardrobe. In the beginning of fall, I make one, you know, fall winter related and then at the beginning of spring, I make a spring kind of summer related and I add to it throughout the season and then there's some things I find I don't really want anymore um, after a month or two and some things that you know it's just long-term items that I really want to um, acquire so at the beginning of fall last year I put a leather pencil skirt down on my list and I've been looking since then and you know I take every opportunity I can um, whenever I'm at the mall I'll pop into a store and say do you have any leather skirts and then look at their selections and usually you know it's nothing that I am looking for that I want and um, I did that at Express at my local mall uh, about a week before Christmas and they she said the lady there said yes we have a leather pencil skirt and she showed me and they had a size zero a four and a six and I tried them the zero and the four and the four was just too big it was too baggy in areas it wasn't flattering the zero I couldn't get past my um, thighs so I knew I needed a two unfortunately they didn't have one so I thought oh, okay so I just went on my merry way um, did my shopping and on the way out the lady from Express because I was walking by it the lady from Express, Express says ma'am ma'am I found it too I found it too and I thought oh my gosh you know I mean for her to have taken the time to actually find the size I needed when I was no longer even in the store and then to wait near the front to see if she saw me pass by again I thought that was just really kind it was a very kind thing to do um, because you know she didn't need to do that she could have just oh, okay I'll put it on the rack and you know whatever anyway so um, I went in and I tried it on it was $69.95 originally because it's minus the leather it's part of the minus the leather collection at Express and then um, when I went to pay for it, it rang up for $30. It was like they were having like a 50% off, I don't know, sale at Express or whatever. So it was $30 and I was just like, you're kidding me. And she's like, no, it's on sale, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh my gosh. So as I was standing there, there's a sequin one, a sequin pencil skirt, not too far away from the register. And I'm like, I want this, I want this too. Um, and it's like a pewter colored, kind of pewter silver gray um, pencil skirt. And it's all sequin just from, you know, top to bottom, back to front sequin. And if you know me, as much as I love pencil skirts, I love sequins just as much. However, I don't like sequins that are only on the front of something. So like a t-shirt or a jacket or something that only has sequins on the front and is just fabric in the back. I can't stand that. So for that pencil skirt to have been sequins everywhere, I was in love. Um, and so I threw that in too, and that was $30. And I am just, yeah, I love these pieces. Love them, love them, love them. Um, and they were so, nicely priced. I mean, $30, you can't beat that. Um, I've spent lots of money on pencil skirts and then spent, you know, $20 on a pencil skirt at Target. And what I find is the fit is the key. So if it's a snug fitted um, skirt that hits me at my knee, mid knee or a little below the knee, it's the most flattering on me. And it has to be snug. Um, there can't be any, you know, bagginess to it. It has to be snug in my waist, in my hips, and in my butt for it to be flattering. The only give that it should have on me, or you know, I think to fit anybody, I don't like to tell you guys, you know, you have to get this, but um, to fit nicely is uh, around the knee area so you can walk and that's it. Anyway, let me show you what I'm wearing and then I will come back and tell you about the individual pieces. Can you see that? Okay. So really quickly, this is my um, cardigan. I'm really doing that because it's just, it's chilly, it's cold. And this is a black cardigan. It's from um, Target. It's, I think, the Morona collection at Target. Let's see. Yes, it's the Morona, and this is a small. And it's just got kind of some, it's like puckering, pin tucked kind of stitched right there. And then these little buttons, that they're kind of, um, they're round black plastic buttons. Um, and then this is without the sweater on.
Let's see if I can do Victoria's Secret. Ah, not so good. Yeah. Okay, um, so the sweater, which I said was Target, it's Verona. This blouse, which is from Express, um, it's, I love it. I'm, yeah, this one is awesome. Um, V-neck, and then it's got this kind of slit back here, and it is reversible. So on the other side is a baby blue color, and this side is like a bright blue, but this side is baby blue, and you just turn it inside out, and it wears the same. I mean, it's beautiful. I also have it in a black with a tan, reverse, reversible tan, and there's no tags. Um, the only tag was like right here, and you're supposed to pull it off. So I, you know, pulled it off before I wore it. But that's it. It is, I'll show you how it's cut in a minute. Um, but this is the skirt, the Minus the Leather from Express, and I absolutely love it. It fits like a glove. It's just so tight, but you know, pencil skirts are so forgiving at the same time because they just fit nice. Um, I love them. So and then there's the little, you see the slit? Ooh, yeah, I know that's weird. The slit right here um, to allow you to, to walk. And then my shoes, which are my, they were another like really great find at Macy's. Um, Steve Madden pumps. They're just black Steve Madden pumps. And then my tights are, you can't even see them. They're like cheetah. Let me see if I can get my leg up here. Yeah, no, that's not going to watch. I'll have to do a separate video on just my tights. They have like a cheetah print to them. They're really pretty. Um, they're from Target too. They're from the Marona collection at Target. Um, so that's this. I absolutely love it. I love the look and you could totally wear this with like a sweater, really tight sweater, a snug sweater, um, or like a, a long sleeve blouse. I just like the way it looks with these tanks. They're, I think it's really pretty. Um, and then this tank, which would be really good with leggings. I think it would go nicely with leggings. This is what it looks like. So it's longer in the back than it is in the front, um, but it's, you know, nice with pencil jeans too. And then, that, and then that's the blue. So it's really pretty. Um, and it's just two, they're separate, you know, pieces. They just hang. So really, really pretty. Uh, so that's that and then on my nails I have Julep nail polish on and I always say that I cannot wear blue or green nail polish because on me it gives me man hands like it makes the color of my fingers look so ugly um, so I very I stay away from blue and green based nail uh, colors even though I have lots of them in my collection I buy them like because they're so pretty um, I stay away from them because they just don't look good. But this blue is so pretty, and honestly, it's the first blue that I'm like, wow, it looks nice. Um, it's a, like a navy, but it's also kind of cobalt. So it's got a lot of the cobalt undertone to the navy, which sometimes you'll find navy and it's just, you know, navy, or it's super dark, like midnight blue navy, um, but there's no, like, brightness to it. And this kind of has a little bit, let me show you, a little bit of brightness. Um, but it's the Julep, it's called Char, C-H-A-R by Julep, or Julep. And then on top, I have the Freedom Polymer Top Coat, which this worked so nicely. Um, it's like a Freedom, you know, fast dry top coat. And all I did was two coats of this really quickly. I mean, it was super, my husband and I were leaving and I got my kids dressed in a hurry and then got myself dressed and then I started painting my nails really, really quickly. And my husband's like, you know, that's gonna mess up on your way out to the car and I'm like no I have this really cool top coat to try um, and he's like it's not gonna work your nails are gonna get messed up and so I'm like no I'm just gonna do it you know anyway and see what happens and he was shocked he's like it really did dry it so I did two coats of this and let it dry for literally like two maybe three minutes and then threw this on top and this it's like you have to wait for it to be dry to the touch I guess you should you could say that. Um, and then you do this, and then it's dry like within seconds after that. And literally it was because we were rushing out the door, like I said, and I had to get kids into car seats and all that stuff. Um, and it did not, did not hurt my nails. So that's what's on my nails. On my face, I'm wearing the Lorac Pro eyeshadow um, palette eyeshadows on my lid. I know I'm having a hard time expressing myself, aren't I? Okay, so I've got the white shade which has shimmer to it, it's not matte, it's got shimmer in it. I've got the white shade up here in the 
highlight up here under my brow. And then I've got cream all over my lid, taupe in the crease, light pink, which I just did on the lower lid. So just down here and then the crease, the taupe, and then sable right there in the outer crease and I blended in. And then I also ran sable underneath my lower lashes. Um, and that was what I put on. On my lips, I've got the NARS, what is this called? Satin Lip Pencil in Biscayne Park, which is really pretty. It's a good, pretty nude. It's got, I think, more orange than um, pink to it. So it's not like a pinky nude. It's more of a tawny, orangey nude, but it's really, really pretty. It's kind of the first shade that I have that's like that. And there's a bunch of lip liners I want to try this with. The other thing that I'm wearing on top of that is an H&M lip gloss. And I got this yesterday because I went to get my mother's, I bought her a really cool jacket as part of her Christmas present. Um, and it was a really, you know, like a blazer and it's black and white and it's got like stripes, but they're, they're not stripes like all the way up and down. They're like slivers all throughout the jacket of just black and white. Um, but it looks, you know, like stripes, but it's, they're slivers. So it's not full complete lines. It's a really, really pretty pattern. Um, and at times it looks like there's a little bit of this blue in there, although my husband's like, no, there's no blue, but I see the blue. I'm like, I see blue in between the black and the white, but my mom didn't see it either. However, my stepfather did. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Anyway, so I did go return it because you know, at H&M, you're never the size you think you are. And I sized my mom, I think a size larger than what I would get. And she's like, she's tiny. She's short and she's tiny, but she's very, um, <laughs> how embarrassing um she's like large busted um and so the jacket only came you know it didn't come all, all the way it didn't want she didn't it's not a jacket you wear closed but you know you want it to hang nicely and it didn't come that way so I had to go back and I think it was like three sizes up from what I would normally wear is what she would wear and she's only about a size larger than me anyway so I had to exchange it and as I was standing there in line these were, you know, there they have them displayed and they are awesome, awesome lip glosses. This one's called Only For The Best. And it was like $4.95. I picked up three of them, a nude, this one, and like a, cor no, like a bright, dark, darker pink. This is kind of corally. Anyway, this one is really pretty. It's, like I said, like a real pretty coral pink, um, but it looks really pretty on top of lip pencils. And the nude one is called Nude Dude, and it's really pretty nude. I thought these would be comparable to the Buxom lip glosses, and they might be a little, I still need to compare the consistency, um, but the payoff on my hand is nicer than what I get off, you know, on my lip. They do kind of have that Buxom minty kind of, you know, gloss scent, so that's nice. Anyway, so that is that. Um, my jewelry is just my normal wedding rings, and then this necklace, which this is a Tiffany and Co necklace. It's the diamond by the yard, by the um, Elsa Peretta collection. That's all that is. And then I don't have any, I put up all my stuff, so I don't have anything um, else that I've been wearing lately, just those, these two things. Uh, oh, and my earrings, just my normal diamond earrings. I'm really, I don't know, I'm a fan of, I like big statement necklaces, um, but when it comes to like real jewelry, I like very simple, very elegant, just normal kind of, I don't say, I don't mean normal, but you know, there's some people like huge, beautiful pieces, and I like that in my costume jewelry. I don't like it in my fine jewelry, if that makes it. I like timeless, just classic pieces of jewelry. Um, so that's that. This was a Christmas present from my husband this year, which he knows my style, because I think out of everything in the store, this is the one thing I probably would have picked just because it is very simple, very elegant, um, and just timeless at the same time. So yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.
so on just my tights. They have like a cheetah print to them. They're really pretty. Um, they're from Target too. They're from the Marona collection at Target. Um, so that's this. I absolutely love it. I love the look and you could totally wear this with like a sweater, really tight sweater, a snug sweater, um, or like a, a long sleeve blouse. I just like the way it looks with these tanks. They're, I think it's really pretty. Um, and then this tank, which would be really good with leggings. I think it would go nicely with leggings. This is what it looks like. So it's longer in the back than it is in the front, um, but it's, you know, nice with pencil jeans too. And then, that, and then that's the blue. So it's really pretty. Um, and it's just two, they're separate, you know, pieces. They just hang. So really, really pretty. Okay, uh, so that's that. And then on my nails, I have Julep nail polish on and I always say that I cannot wear blue or green nail polish because on me it gives me man hands like it makes the color of my fingers look so ugly um, so I very I stay away from blue and green based nail uh, colors even though I have lots of them in my collection I buy them like because they're so pretty um, I stay away from them because they just don't look good but this blue is so pretty and honestly it's the first blue that I'm like wow it looks nice um it's a, like a navy but it's also kind of cobalt so it's got a lot of the cobalt undertone to the navy which sometimes you'll find navy and it's just you know navy or it's super dark like midnight blue navy um but there's no like brightness to it and this kind of has a little bit let me show you a little bit of brightness um but it's the julep it's called char c-h-a-r by julep or julep and then on top i have the Freedom Polymer Top Coat, which this worked so nicely. Um, it's like a Freedom, you know, fast dry top coat. And all I did was two coats of this really quickly. I mean, it was super, my husband and I were leaving and I got my kids dressed in a hurry and then got myself dressed and then I started painting my nails really, really quickly. And my husband's like, you know, that's gonna mess up on your way out to the car. And I'm like, no, I have this really cool top coat to try. Um, and he's like, it's not gonna work. Your nails are gonna get messed up. And so I'm like, no, I'm just going to do it, you know, anyway and see what happens. And he was shocked. He's like, it really did dry it. So I did two coats of this and let it dry for literally like two, maybe three minutes. And then threw this on top. And this, it's like you have to wait for it to be dry to the touch. I guess you should, you could say that. Um, and then you do this and then it's dry like within seconds after that. And literally it was because we were rushing out the door, like I said. And I had to get kids into car seats and all that stuff. Um, and it did not, did not hurt my nails. So that's what's on my nails. On my face, I'm wearing the Lorac Pro eyeshadow um, palette eyeshadows on my lid. I know, I'm having a hard time expressing myself, aren't I? Okay, so I've got the white shade, which has shimmer to it. It's not matte. It's got shimmer in it. I've got the white shade up here in the highlight up here under my brow. And then I've got cream all over my lid, taupe in the crease light pink which i just did on the lower lid so just down here and then the crease the taupe and then sable right there in the outer crease and i blended in and then i also ran sable underneath my lower lashes um, and that was what i put on on my lips i've got the nars what is this called satin lip pencil in biscayne park which is really pretty it's a good pretty nude it's got i think more orange than um pink to it so it's not like a pinky nude it's more of a tawny orangey nude but it's really really pretty it's kind of the first shade that i have that's like that and there's a bunch of lip liners i want to try this with the other thing that i'm wearing on top of that is an h m lip gloss and i got this yesterday because i went to get my mother's i bought her a really cool jacket as part of her christmas present um, and it was a really you know like a blazer and it's black and white and it's got like stripes but they're they're not stripes like all the way up and down they're like slivers all throughout the jacket of just black and white um, but it looks you know like stripes but it's they're slivers so it's not full complete lines it's a really really pretty pattern um, and at times it looks like there's a little bit of this blue in there although my husband's like no there's no blue but I see the blue I'm like I see blue in between the black and the white but my mom didn't see it either however my stepfather did I don't know maybe I'm just weird anyway so I did go return it because you know at H&M you're never the size you think you are and I 
sized my mom I think a size larger than what I would get and she's like she's tiny she's short and she's tiny but she's very um, <laughs> how embarrassing um, she's like large busted um, and so the jacket only came you know it didn't come all, all the way it didn't want she didn't it's not a jacket you wear closed but you know you want it to hang nicely and it didn't come that way so I had to go back and I think it was like three sizes up from what I would normally wear is what she would wear and she's only about a size larger than me anyway so I had to exchange it and as I was standing there in line these were, you know, there they have them displayed. And they are awesome, awesome lip glosses. This one's called Only for the Best. And it was like $4.95. I picked up three of them. A nude, this one, and like a cor no, like a bright, dark, darker pink. This is kind of corally. Anyway, this one is really pretty. It's like I said, like a real pretty coral pink. Um, but it looks really pretty on top of lip pencils. And the nude one is called Nude Dude, and it's really pretty nude. I thought these would be comparable to the Buxom lip glosses, and they might be a little, I still need to compare the consistency, um, but the payoff on my hand is nicer than what I get off, you know, on my lip. They do kind of have that Buxom minty kind of, you know, gloss scent, so that's nice. Anyway, so that is that. Um, my jewelry is just my normal wedding rings and then this necklace which this is a Tiffany and Co necklace it's the diamond by the yard by the um, Elsa Peretta collection that's all that is and then I don't have any I put up all my stuff so I don't have anything um, else that I've been wearing lately just those these two things uh, oh and my earrings just my normal diamond earrings I'm really I don't know I'm a fan of I like big statement necklaces um, but when it comes to like real jewelry I like very simple very elegant just normal kind of I don't say I don't mean normal but you know there's some people like huge beautiful pieces and I like that in my costume jewelry I don't like it in my fine jewelry if that makes it I like timeless just classic pieces of jewelry um, so that's that this was a Christmas present from my husband this year which he knows my style because I think out of everything in the store this is the one thing I probably would have picked just because it is very simple, very elegant, um, and just timeless at the same time. So yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.